Well, it's interesting. Look, the Vikings could use a number of different things. I think, first and foremost, you need to make sure that the offensive line gets taken care of. Could They, they could go with an inside or outside player there. I think best player available on the offensive line is probably something that they could go ahead and take care of. You need to make sure that Kirk is comfortable. You need to make sure that the running game can really get going. And last year they really couldn't get it going because they couldn't really get any kind of movement at the point of attack there. Listen, I know conventional wisdom says to take an offensive lineman, but unlike the, all, the, 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 the countless pretentious football fans out there who think that they can divine who's a good offensive lineman, which 300-pound man leans good up against other 300-pound men, I don't have that talent, and neither do you, unless you played offensive line in the NFL or you're watching all 22 tape meticulously pouring over plays to see who sits good and all that kind of – I mean, it's, it's jive. I don't like that stuff. There are a lot of great, great players up there. There are some really, really nice tackles that should be there for them. Uh, there are a lot of pass rushers in this in this in this draft, and I know the head coach of the, at the Vikings, and he likes guys to get after the quarterback. A meat and potatoes offensive lineman, brisket, so good here by the way. Garrett Bradbury, center, NC State. We're moving Elf line to guard. I love it. Two smart interior athletic offensive linemen. Vikings get their O line back on track. Skull Vikings. Long story short, we're not taking an offensive lineman. You're all set at wide receiver. All set at tight end. You know, Rick Spielman won't call me, uh, but if he did, I'd say, Rick, trust your board. I, mean, I think that's what the Vikings have to do. The Vikings got in trouble last year for one reason. They thought they were one player away, right? They were all in on Kirk Cousins. They gave him the $84 million guaranteed contract, and no team is ever really one player away. All the things, the hardest thing to do in the NFL is that, uh, outside of New England is to expect the exact same thing, things, same things to work in one year and work in the next year. And that's what happened in Minnesota. The team was essentially the same, right? Not much changed except they brought in another quarterback and lo and behold, they didn't even make the playoffs. So I, to, to me, I would say, and, and Rick, by the way, when he worked for us, you remember Rick, he used to work with us on the draft. He would go through that board and how painstakingly he went through it. So I would just say, trust what your scouts are telling you. I'm going to say offensive lineman, and I'm going to go either Cody Ford or Jonah Williams, depending on whether they go inside or outside. I know, I know that there's already negative buzz about we can't take another cornerback, but that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to say that you – no, you know what? Here's one. Jonah Williams would be a great pick, but he's probably going to be gone. I would think Chris Lindstrom, if he were there, would be nice, or a defensive lineman. They like pass rushers. Maybe Montez Sweat from Mississippi State drops down that far. Maybe Rashawn Gary Michigan drops down there. So if the linemen are gone, maybe they go to a defensive end. Brian Burns. Throw him into the pass rush. That's it. That's it. I was vamping the whole time. I was just talking, but in my head I was thinking, who can I say here that will be interesting? And I've just given it to you. Florida State edge rusher Brian Burns to go along with Anthony Barr, put him out there. Anthony Barr, a little bit of the pressure taken off of him. I hope that helps. And now I bid you good day.